Hi, friends. Uh, uh, it is a great privilege to introduce Dr. Deeptika Sadashivam to you all. Uh, she is uh, our first rank holder in pediatric super speciality entrance for pediatric nephrology stream. And we have her here. We are so proud to have you here. And uh, briefly about Dr. Deeptika, she is uh, from basically from Coimbatore. And she has done her MBBS at Madras Medical College and her MD Pediatrics from the prestigious PGI Chandigarh. Uh, okay, so um, first of all, a huge congratulations and best wishes ahead, uh, uh, Deeptika. And uh, yeah, first of all, I would like to uh, ask you something. Uh, what I mean, what what made you choose pediatric nephrology, or how did you find it uh, uh, interesting, or what what was that uh, decision? How was that decision made? Yes, ma'am. Um, so my thesis was uh, in critical care, where I spend uh, most of the days in uh, ICU. So there, I was very fascinated about the renal replacement therapy and how that could save a patient. So when I uh, got posted in pediatric nephrology unit in my college, there we got a lot of exposure to uh, all the nephrology related cases like uh, CKD, both CKD and AK. And uh, then I got to know that, okay, my interest is in uh, nephrology and uh, my future career should be in uh, this part. Okay. Nice, nice to hear that. Okay, actually, uh, I mean, uh, nephrology is very crucial in intensive care and it, it will be transform the intensive care, whether it is AKI, CKD, or even liver failure, everywhere RRT is coming up. So it's uh, it's like, yeah, absolute fantastic. I, am, I mean, fantastic to know that. Uh, hope you will become a critical care nephrologist and uh, means who does more in critical care nephrology. I mean, just a hope. And uh, so I, I understand that you did your MD from uh, Postgraduate Institute Chandigarh. And after, when did you finish your MD? And when where, when was the preparations for the super speciality and then started? How how was that journey? How in in your own words? Yes, ma'am. So uh, my first posting in pediatric nephrology was in fourth semester where uh, I got a little idea about nephrology. Then again, I got it during my sixth semester. So uh, that was during the month of INSS. So my first attempt was during my sixth semester when I was in the nephrology unit. So I did not prepare anything specially for uh, nephrology. I just was posted in my unit, learned something from the ward and uh, my, the senior residents and just gave the exam. Mm -hmm. After mm -hmm. that, the post day, I took a short break. I actually got uh, a fellowship in CMC, but because of some personal reasons, uh, I was not able to take up the fellowship. So after that, okay. I think so uh, I wanted to prepare, uh, uh, like I have to uh, give a good uh, preparation for this exam and get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I hope our marrow classes helped you uh, in preparation. Most of the times when we see candidates, most of them tell like, working in a pediatric nephrology department for one year like that and all that made them i mean of, of course working and uh, learning from room and classroom is different i totally agree uh, but it is very much uh, i mean we feel very happy that uh, without being working for uh, in a pediatric nephrology standalone unit uh, by preparing from our platform you had a uh, craft uh, with flying colors so uh that's very uh, i mean uh, it's, it brings immense happiness to us so uh, so what i can understand is it is not uh, important to work in the unit if you prepare very well otherwise also so how how the classes helped you or what is your impression how sh how should we improve our classes or any suggestions from your side yes ma'am um so I actually like uh, prepared only for one month, like serious preparation was only for one month, ma'am. So that time, like I had a very little time. So I wanted to like uh, just before uh, before that, I was just going through pediatric nephrology at equal intervals from all books and also uh, like ISPN classes and uh, lectures, everything. So during that one month, I needed some reinforcement because as you told, I have not worked in any nephrology unit for, for a long period. So if we see some cases, uh, then it goes into our mind easily. Otherwise, uh, like just reading from the book doesn't give so much of insight to us and we don't know which points are important and which points are not. 
so that time uh, uh, the marrow lectures helped me because uh, whenever you uh, like uh, take some uh, like particular topic uh, and say some important points that stayed in my mind okay i'm well, happy to know that good to know that i mean uh, any suggestions from your side more uh, like anything to more import clinical case scenarios or something like that or any suggestions for improvisation uh, we welcome uh, like suggestions from your side I, from video point of view actually I, i did not find time to see all the videos but i have seen like videos i i think they were quite good ma'am uh, like from videos part of view it was full fit but i think uh, question bank and test series can be improved but uh, i think uh, uh, you know that uh, most of the things are not directly from nelson but from the guidelines and uh, yeah 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 it is very difficult to read from different sources so once you uh, bring together everything is a single thing it is easy for yeah i understand that yeah. uh, so standard guidelines in nelson so we have to go to this guide so from that yeah point, like obviously when we give super specialty exam we have to read all the guidelines completely but when you like some points important points so uh, that help to uh, maybe score a little higher okay uh one more thing ditika how did your uh, interview at aims go was it i mean uh, a tough uh, thing uh, it was uh, how was it how was it more clinical how did it go just wanted to just curious about it yeah yes um, it was more of clinical ma'am uh, like we would have you and they would be asking questions like how we would approach with that particular case for example i got a case of uh, lower urinary tract uh, malformation and uh, they ask questions from those cases and we would have quarters like it may be a histopathology or uh, uh, any nuclear medicine imaging like that mm -hmm. okay so, uh, so uh okay okay ma'am like uh, it it was more of clinical rather than factual mm -hmm. i understand so actually uh this uh, this is something where i i think we could from marrow we, we could improvise because uh, we don't in, include more um, like many clinical scenarios sometimes we improve to make the uh, discussion little lively and little i mean interesting but not like many but many a times interviews are mostly clinical so he this is the place where the people who have worked really uh, makes a difference but diptika you have done a wonderful job i mean uh, i mean maybe the experience from pgi also uh, was really helpful especially when it comes to clinical scenarios so maybe uh, this is one thing yes ma'am i want to thank all the presidents and seniors who like uh, guided me for this oh great and this is like uh, something maybe we could also i mean learn and in try to incorporate like uh, including clinical scenarios like that images more of images some yes. images yes we try to but sometimes copyright issues this that and all sometimes comes up and but we try to in, in, like include images but these things we also will improve from our side so once again congratulations and uh, all the best wishes uh, for your future journey i hope i mean you will be taking the prestigious aims new delhi seat only i mean uh, that will be the first option of course i i hope so so all the best uh, see you uh, again in the i mean in the tribe uh, we are not many in numbers actually the pediatric nephrologist so hopefully see you again best wishes thank you so thank much you.